everybody, I'm Stacy J. And I'm Chuck Duran. Welcome to another episode of VO Buzz Weekly. That's right. And on the show today, we have Brian T. Stevenson. Brian is a newcomer to the VO Biz, and he's out there and he's making it happen. And we know that the information he's going to share with you is going to help you out a lot. Absolutely. Absolutely. But first, we're going to do a viewer email. Woo! Viewer email. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Chuck, this comes from Tony from Illinois. Tony from Illinois. He says, hey, Chuck and Stacy. first off, let me say I love VO Buzz Weekly. I watch every episode more than once and look forward to Sunday mornings for my latest chance to get buzzed. I was listening to Chuck's tip of the week about using your hands when you're reading copy. Remember that one? Absolutely, I remember that. I didn't quite understand how that helps since the voice actor is not seen. Then, I was watching The Little Mermaid, Ariel's Beginning on DVD, and one of the bonus features showed Jodie Benson doing VO work. Jodie was mimicking things Ariel did in the movie. Uh -huh. That's when what Chuck was talking about clicked in my mind. <laughs> in fact, I even said out loud, that's what Chuck meant, confusing all the other people <laughs> in the room at the time. Now that I've seen that tip in action and saw how much it added to the read, I know it's a great tip. Keep up the great tips and great interviews. Thanks, Tony. Tony, thank you very much for sharing that. That was really, really cool. And yeah. I'm glad that people are actually getting some stuff out of my little tips. Exactly. You Our have little great tips. ones, Chuck. Come on. Here we go. Is we're it time? Brian T. Stevenson. Okay, you guys, this week we're doing something a little bit different. Our guest is a lot like many of you watching. He is in the beginning stages of building his voiceover business. He is out in the trenches every day, and he is not letting anything stop him. He is here to share with us his journey thus far. He is totally lovable. We love him. You're going to love him too. And he is so talented. He is Brian T. Stevenson. My main man, Vern. Hi, hello, Brian. hello. How you doing, Hi. brother? Hi. Good to see you. Good Brian to see T. Stevenson. I think, okay, so, so, <laughs> Brian, so when we contacted Brian to be on the show today, he was kind of like, what? <laughs> Who, me? Me? I'm, I'm just not Rob Paulson. <laughs> I'm not Jess Hardell. I'm not one of these big giant superstars. Why would you guys want me on the show? You're still asking. I'm that. still asking. He you still know. doesn't know. <laughs> my wife my wife calls me the Kim Kardashian of voiceover. She's like, You're famous <laughs> no. for nothing. And it's like so you know, it's, like, it's, Actually, it's all joking though. It's all yeah, joking. It, 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 yeah, but it's not for nothing. And I'll tell yes. you why. The reason why yes. we, we have the Brian backstory. on the show today here on VO Buzz Weekly mm -hmm. is because Brian is We've been working together. We worked on his demos and stuff like that. But I got to tell you, man, I, Brian is the perfect example of if you want something mm -hmm. and you go after it and you've got the goods, okay, because he's got the talent. He didn't chinks out on getting some demo made from like some dude in <laughs> the mall or whatever. I mean, he went pro and, and, and he made it happen. Yeah. And it took him a while. He, he went through some stuff yeah, to get, gonna there. get there. We're going to get, gonna there. get there. Yeah. But man... He's rocking it. It's going well. Yeah. It's going well. 2013 and we're so proud of you, man. Yeah. There's a lot yeah. of people yeah. out there that are going to be gonna able to relate with that. It, absolutely. Well, and I want to say, too, I mean, you have a good 20 years in the entertainment business. I mean, you're a character actor, stand-up comedian, puppeteer, cartoonist. So this is not your first day at this rodeo. But as a voice actor, this is new. So can you kind of share with us how you felt inspired to go into the voiceover business? Uh, well... It all started in a small town in Arizona. Um, <laughs> That's a good I, story. Yeah, yeah, isn't it? Next yeah. question. No, I, uh, uh, no. <laughs> I, I grew up in a small town. Um, uh, Rex Allen, the guy who you know did all the Disney stuff in the mm -hmm. 50s, uh, narrated you know Charlotte's Web. You know he, right, right. he was from my hometown, and I was always kind of interested in 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 acting and in performing. Mm -hmm. Somehow, you know, we always said you know I was that generation that was babysat by the television. Right. And I just, you know, I mean, my first impressions were of Mickey Mouse and Ernie from Sesame Street. You know, I, you know, imitating laughs and stuff like that. And uh, as my life progressed, and and I got more and more interested in, in I've always been a creative kid, mm -hmm. uh, growing up. And I got to a point to where I, I started realizing I was reading credits at the end of the cartoons. I was like, there are people doing this. They don't live in the box. Mm -hmm. You know, right. there are people doing this. And it was something that I thought that if I ever got to Hollywood, that would be something, you know, that I was, I'd be interested in. The closer and closer I got to that point, the more and more you heard, oh, there's only about half a dozen people that do that professionally. Mm -hmm. It's a very tight-knit, very, you know, closed group, and mm -hmm. it's really hard to get in. 
you'd be better off being a face, being a, an on-camera actor. So that's the, that's the track that my journey took in, right. in my early 20s and when I first moved out to L.A. Mm -hmm. I'd quit performing and acting altogether about five or six years ago. I was in a relationship. I better get a real job, you know, mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. And that went south. Um, and I met who, the girl who's now my wife. And she, she's a good girl, who, Amy. Who we love, she's Amy amazing. rocks. You rock, she's Amy. Amazing. My, she is my rock, you know. Yeah. She's my and my superhero. I mean, yeah. she just for uh, the we got married in September, and for Christmas that year, she said, "This is what you're getting for Christmas." And she got me. She said, "Research it a little bit, and I want you to start taking voice acting classes. I want mm -hmm. you to get into a class, you know, take some fundamentals, you know, get 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 your feet wet, you know." Um, I had the, you know, the good fortune of being friends with Tom Kenny, uh, mm -hmm. who was encouraging as well. He was like, wow, brother, why aren't you getting paid to do this? You know, you're funny, you're good, you know? And it just, you know, the wheel started turning and I was yeah. like, mm, you know, I, I, once I got married, I had kind of, you know, I have somebody else to look out for. Um, not just myself. Um, I become kind of disenchanted with punching a clock every day mm -hmm. and, you know, saw that that was kind of not going you know, the way I had planned um, and thought, well, I, I, I want to be the boss of me. And, you know, I, I know that being a performer can, can, can put me there. I just have to stick with it and I have to, yeah. I have to never give up and I have to really, if I'm going to do it I, and I'm going to pull the trigger, it's got to be completely all in. Yeah. And, yeah. and that's, that's, that's. Well, and having that support system though. It's yeah. Oh yeah. So it's very, important to very have important. people encouraging you. I got an amazing wife. Do it. Yeah. yeah. Amazing friends. Mm -hmm. And, and, you know, people that I admired as a kid growing up and watching their careers who've now become peers and colleagues, but also friends. The guys on TV kind, you know, I was a latchkey kid. We were put in front of the television. Mm -hmm. Those guys that did those voices, you know, Optimus Prime and He-Man and, and um, you know, the Ninja Turtles and, the, you know, I mean, all those guys, those were my uncles. Those were my mm -hmm. surrogate fathers. You yeah. know? It's like they raised me. Yeah. You know? It's like I learned to be, you know, I, my mom put on me very young. You're the man of the house. Your dad's gone. You're the man of the house now. And, you know, I helped raise my sister and, you know, my mom had to work. And so, you know, the television was where I learned how to be who I am, the television mm -hmm. and comic books. And, you know, my idols and my, the people I, I admired were all of these heroes, you know, the, and they were just voiced by regular dudes. Yeah. yeah. And those. Well, that's now you're getting to have your childhood. Yeah. 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 And, you know, and that's the Again. thing is I am, I'm still, you know, it's like I am a perpetual nine-year-old, you know, it's like, it's, I, I'm, <laughs> I, you know, I, I design toys and I, you know, I, I, I collect action figures and, right, you know, I mean, right. and comic books still. And you do, um, and we're definitely going to yeah. get, we're going to get into that. Yeah. I want everybody to see your ring. My ring? Look at that. Is that cool or what? <laughs> it's got a big S for Stevenson and Super and Superman. Superman. Exactly. These Steven these are not Super an Stevenson. accident. <laughs> no, they're not. Yeah, man. and I used How to actually wear a goofy S curl in my hair too. <laughs> no, you yeah, did not. Yeah, yeah. Until the until the forehead started getting taller and it just kind of looks sad. That, I decided yes, to get rid of yes. it. You're a crazy man. I am. I am a little. We crazy. love our branding. <laughs> we do, Brian. I know that you just got representation by a very big agency here in Los Angeles, which we're all very proud of. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I know that there's a lot of you out there that would love to do that, okay? And 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 you can share with us. The, the agency is TGMD, right? Mm -hmm. Can you share the process you went through getting an agent? You know, I mean, what, sure. what were some of the biggest challenges? Um, meetings, getting in to get the meeting, get that first initial meeting. And then being different and unique enough from someone they already had on their roster. Mm -hmm. When I got the call from uh, TGMD, it was actually through a recommendation. Um, I had been through um, several different agencies already. I had I'd gotten meetings with CESD. I'd gotten me a meeting with uh, AVO. Um, I had gotten a meeting with, uh, well, not in the agency, but I had spoken with uh, with one of the agents from SBV several times. Mm -hmm. um, so all the big agencies. So you actually went in and meet, met with these agents? With the two, yeah, with AVO yeah. and yeah. CESD and, uh, and a couple others, you know, a couple of the smaller agencies. But the problem was is that they were already kind of covered with somebody that had my sound and yeah. kind of, you know, the way the, the way the whole audition process works now is you get only so many you know, each agency, they'll call them and say, you know, yeah. send us your top five, top your top five, exactly. ten. 
And, exactly. you know, they're beholden, the agency is beholden to the people that have been there the longest. Yeah. And, you and know, I book. mean, and who book. Mm -hmm. And it's a business. And it's like if they're booking the commissions and, you know, it's like everything that, yeah. you know, it's, it's, exactly. all, it's all a balance. And you, yeah. you have to kind of realize that. And you can't really be, um, you've got to have a very thick skin you know, but you also have to be very realistic about it. And it's right. not, it's honestly not anything personal. You know, it's, it's 50%. Does your voice fit what they're looking for? And 50%, how good are you? You know, and, and it's, it's a very strange luck meeting opportunity kind of business. Right. Um, you know, I mean, the talent has to be there as well, yeah. but getting that, that first step in the door Absolutely. Is that that kind of a balance? You kept but getting no. Kept no, getting no, yeah. no, no, no for a year. No. For a good for year. A year. I mean we did we did my demo, you know. I mean Who did I put demo? in a good you word did my for demo. you. I did your demo. You did my demo. Oh my goodness. And I was gonna say I put in a good, good word for you at AVO. Yes, yes, too. exactly. I'm at AVO and I love them, but I understand, yeah, it's it's well I was gonna say, um, don't let Chuck sitting here influence your answer or intimidate <laughs> you in any way, Brian. Oh, no, no. So, Brian, uh, you did work with the legendary Chuck Duran at Devils That Rock, did you not? I did. Yes. What was the process of making the demo for you and the follow-up? What was that like for you? It was... Because that was, really is the yeah, first step. Yeah, yeah, It was... I, I could not, you know, I mean, I couldn't have been happier with the whole thing. I mean, and like I said... I'm kind of new to this whole thing, so I don't know from one to the other. You know, I, I'd contacted a couple others, and I've got a pretty good BS detector, you know, and I had talked to a couple of guys. How are we that, doing right now? Yeah. Are we okay? Awesome. Aces. Sweet. Aces, five by five. Our this force is good. field. Yeah, yeah. I'm not even here right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I, I, but I'd, I'd been into a couple of people that, you know, the minute they started, they opened their mouth, I was like, mm-hmm, shyster. You know, it's like, this guy just wants money. He's going to mm. put me in, a, in his closet, you know, in his garage, and, you know, with some RLX tape to the wall. You know, and he's and, and that's it's not gonna you know I'm I'm, I'm not digging it. Mm -hmm. So I did my research. I always do my research. You know, yes. before I because I mean to. You have to. there is a there you spend a lot of money getting in. You know, mm -hmm. and you get what you pay for. You know, the quality and and everything. You know, it, it, it's not inexpensive, but if you cheap out, then that's that's where your career is going. It'll yeah. cost you double plus. It exactly. will. It will. You'll end up spending yeah, more. Yeah. Have if, to. You, exactly. if you don't have the time and the money to do it right the first time, mm -hmm. how are you going to find it to do it again? Exactly. That's the, you know, that's, that's the thing. Great. So it's yeah. better to exhibit the patience. I mean, because the business is not going to go anywhere, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm 38 years old, you know, I mean, I'm, you know, I, I'm, I'm where most people are, you know, already, they figured out who they're going to be and what they're going to do with their life. Yeah. You know, it's like, I yeah. still want to be Spider-Man when I grow up, you know? So <laughs> it's just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know I mean? So it's, 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 it's kind of, um, it, it's kind of interesting that I am at where I am, you know, in, in years and, mm -hmm. and that, but I also think that helps me. I, I see that as a, um, as a boon because it's like, I'm able, I'm, I'm not the, the brash, you know, headstrong, you know, mm -hmm. eager, yeah. Desperate, yeah, punk that I was when I moved out to LA at 24 mm -hmm. years of age, mm -hmm. you know. Um, but anyway, as far as get, getting back to the whole demo thing, free consultation, you know, come in, sat down, mm -hmm. and it's not just like, okay, well, here's here's the copy, go in the booth. It was like, what do you dig? What are you into? What kind of cars do you like? What kind of computer do you have? What kind of yeah. cell phone do you use? You know, what kind of food do you like? Fast food, you know, it's like uh, everything because it's like those are the things. It's like, you, and you turn on the radio and you're like, there's a car commercial. There's a cell phone commercial. There's a computer commercial. There's a fast food commercial. You know, it's like, and you're like, ah, uh, ah, uh, you know, and it's like, what do I like? Because when you're going to, if you're going to put your demo out, you're going to have to put your best foot forward. Absolutely. And what better way than if you're talking about Things stuff you, you like. dig, the, the stuff yeah. you are into, Yeah. you know, because then you learn to parlay that into if you get something like, say, you never eat a Taco Bell in your life, but you love Burger King. So, Burger pretend King. you're yeah, talking yeah. about Burger King. Pretend you're talking about Burger King. You know, I mean, that's the thing. You know, it's just yeah. all like, and, and that's and 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 you cut you. It's 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 a learning tool. It's like you're not just making a demo. You're learning. It's like everything is yeah. a learning experience. And yeah. and I also did an animation demo, which is kind of my my strong suit. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, that's that's where my power lies is in in the characters and because I was a character actor. Yeah. So, um, so you know. Sitting through the, 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 the animation part, too, was, was amazing just because of that process. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And it was fun. It was fun working with you. Now blast. I'm back. I'm back now. <laughs> uh, uh, when I, had, I remember when I had my first meeting with, with you and thinking to myself, man, I hope this guy's really good. <laughs> 
And he was. He was rooting okay. for you from the And he was. I was definitely impressed. And uh, you got the goods, buddy. I'm proud of you. Oh, thank you. I'm proud of you. Thank You've you. taken this thing, you know, where you need to take you it. You are on your way, baby. So I think we accidentally cut you off earlier before you finished your TGMD story. So finish that. How did you get with them? What, like, what was the whole process oh, like? You didn't cut me off. I know there's a pretty cool story. The T though. in my name actually stands for tangent. I go exactly. off on them all the time. Okay, so we didn't what... cut you off. You cut yourself <laughs> yeah, yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. But, but we um, always we're find our back. way back somehow. Yeah, so. yeah. We're bringing you back. Um, you know, like uh, it had been a year, you know, uh, a little over a year. I had struggled, you know, I mean, been been in, lots of no's, lots of we're Every really sorry. Every single time I talked to Brian on the phone, because he would update me. Yeah, every time. And yeah. I'd be like, what's going on? We're talking six months later, eight months later. And he's like, oh, man, I'm so excited. I went in. I met with these guys. They said, no, not right now. But, you know, I feel really good about it. He was never, ever, so ever optimistic. down. He was always so positive. Well, that was at one optimistic. time. Optimistic. There was yeah, never. Was that, really? Really? Not I, well, with then me. I, then I'm the best actor in the world. Because it felt me. like a punch wow. in the gut. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> not with me. You cool. were always really, really positive. Well, you rebounded. That. Okay, If you go. were down, you rebounded. I'd started taking... Uh, a voiceover workout group, which isn't really a class. It's just get together, stay frosty, you know, I mean, work mm -hmm. on some copy. Mick Wingert, uh, who does the voice of Poe mm -hmm. in uh, Kung Fu Kung Panda Fu in the, the series. Cool. He's the coolest, nicest, sweetest guy and has been great because he doesn't pull any punches with me. He's not easy on me, you know. Mm -hmm. It's like when I get in a booth, he doesn't let me phone it in, you know. Yeah. He's like, he's he gets me right where I need to be mm -hmm. to play with the big dogs. Mm -hmm. Right. And we were sitting after after the workout, and we were just kind of talking, and he said, can I send my agent a, a, a recommendation on your behalf? Is that okay? And I'm like, yes, please, absolutely. You yeah. know, I mean, that's... Uh, Please, by all means, you know, it's like, because he asked me, he said, have you ever, have you submitted to TGMD? And I said, yeah, that was one of the ones, but, mm -hmm. you know, I had never heard anything. And I'm like, they rep Don LaFontaine. Yes. They rep Peter Cullen. I mean, Optimus Prime is there, you know, it's like, I'm like, I'm just a dude, man. It's like, I, I don't, I'm not that caliber, you know, it's like, but, uh, you know, I mean. No, 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 Let's rephrase it. Well, you yes. are pretty damn good. Well, you know, I mean, as far as you like having you can't, yeah. being Listen, known, you can't be thirty years from where you are. Right. You're where you are. Where I am exactly. 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 Had a first day exactly. First year you know, too, so, so I was like, yeah, sure. You know, that that would be awesome. So he sent uh, he sent his agent an email. Uh, he sent Ilko Rozdowski mm -hmm. an email. Who's one of the partners over at TGMD. Yeah. So a week had passed, and then Tuesday morning, I went ahead and I sent Il Ilko a follow up. And I reattached my my demos, and it mm -hmm. was you know because we had talked about follow ups. Sure. And the following. Well, not even the following day, later on that afternoon, I'm getting ready for work and I get a phone call and this guy is joking around with me at first. He's like, hey, you know, I just wanted to tell you, you know, I listen to your stuff and, you know, um, I'm, you know, he spoke really fast. So he's like, I'm with TGMD and I'm like, oh, okay. And he's like, yeah, I was listening to your stuff and yeah, here's the thing. As my brother would say, not half bad. And I'm going, oh, here it comes. Oh, here's no. another one. And he yeah. goes, tell you the truth, really effing good. And I'm like, uh, really? Do we need to bleep that? Is that a bleep? No. Well, that's why oh, no, I, I, I know. I self bleeped. He's so, a self bleeper. Thank you. Yes, we yes, that. yes, yes. But and I, and, but you know, I mean, I'm paraphrasing, but that's what he said. Yeah. So he he calls me. He says, "Yeah, come in." He says, "Let's let's think of a time." And I'm thinking, okay, it's going to be in three or four days. And he goes, "You know, Friday's no good. This is Tuesday." He goes, "Ah, Friday's no good. Thursday's this." And I'm thinking, okay, there's only one more day in the week, so yeah. it's going to be later. He goes, "Can you get in here tomorrow?" He's like, I'm like, yeah, yeah, I can come in. And I'm thinking, I mean, he goes, yeah, come in. We'll talk strategy. We'll talk this, that, and I'm going. You're like, holy so I, I, So, hmm. you know, and it all happens so fast, you know, and it's just right. like one of those things where it's all like, where, I mean, somebody jumps out of a closet and scares you. Yeah. You know, I was kind of like, <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, and I'm, I'm, I'm playing it all back, you know. It's like I'm constantly hitting the rewind and playing it all mm -hmm. back and playing it all back. And oh, I, I call my that. wife and I was like, I think they just signed me kind of all over the phone. I'm going in tomorrow. <laughs> I'm not sure. And, but he's like, yeah, I'll come and talk, talk strategy and where we see you and everything. And I went in the next morning and I sat with him and I sat with Vanessa, uh, mm -hmm. Vanessa Gilbert. And, you know, uh, just kind of got to know me a little bit. And yeah. they were like, we'll see you on Friday to sign contracts. Wow. Yeah, I mean, I love one of, the, one of Vanessa's quotes is, I'm only getting 10% of the pay. Guess who's going to do 90% of the work? And I, and I love that because mm -hmm. it's like I'm, I'm about my career 
and doing my thing and, and making it work. I still go to workshops. I, you know, I'm not resting on any laurels just because like, hey, I signed with an agent. I don't have to do any of this Absolutely, anymore. Absolutely, yeah. You know, I stick to it. It's like I still go to workshops. I still go to classes. So you coached privately with Rob. You call your surrogate dad. Hi, Rob. We love Rob. Hi, Rob. Um, Rob Paulson. With Rob Paulson. Yes. Um, what was that experience like for you? I mean, do you want to talk? Hey, obviously, he's a mentor for you in the business. Mm -hmm. And he really helped you kind of go yeah, forward. I, so you want to? Just amazing. Like I said, I, he was one of the very first voices I ever picked out. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, going all the way back to G.I. Joe and Transformers. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I mean, I could always pick him out. And this is, you know. The first so round of Turtles. Yeah, yeah. And the first, <laughs> the first round of Turtles. Yeah. You know, it's like in everything, you know, DuckTales. You know, I mean, uh, just uh, just the, the string of stuff that he's yeah. done and his yeah. career is just, Incredible. you know, I mean, it spans, you know, since I started watching cartoons, you know. Yeah. And um, it's amazing that so much talent comes inside of this One awesomely human. cool guy. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. And the nicest, so cool. yeah, yeah. the nice nicest, man. most unaffected, mm -hmm. self-effacing, you know, yeah. it's all like mm -hmm. it just and, and I've learned so much just about attitude and and you know from him you know and and from jesse you know yeah. it's like both of them are just like being cool get you in the or being good get, get you in the room being cool keeps you in the room yeah you nice. know and 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 it's just like seeing them and and watching them and how positive and how you know even i mean and they're the same as the rest of us you know it's like they audition every day his, his teaching is kind of untraditional it's not That's like getting says. a booth yeah. And, yeah you know it's like and he doesn't take everybody it's like he told me he says i've turned down more people you know, it's like mm -hmm. I'm, I'm taking people to do private coaching that, and again, this was a year ago. I mean, yeah. what he's doing now is amazing oh, the with U his Stream? Ustream stuff uh -huh. where it's like yeah. and anybody can attend and learn the same things that I've learned, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. But I did a one-on-one. -on -one. We had we had lunch together. He paid for lunch, you know, so it's like, hey, well, I'm, <laughs> you know, Yakko's buying me lunch. This is <laughs> awesome, Actually, you know, right? Yeah. Too, yeah, yeah. So, and we sat there. We must but he's paying, well, hold on. He's buying you lunch <laughs> with the money that you already gave him. <laughs> Well, now that kind of puts a damper on it. I wasn't thinking Chuck. that way. You know, oh, that's the truth. No, no. But, no. but he, but you know, <laughs> and we, we must have sat there for two hours. Yeah. You know, just you know, and what was funny? He's like, oh yeah, yeah. Turn on your phone. Record this if you want. And my clumsy, fat, ham-handed fingers. <laughs> I turn on the recorder, but then I didn't hit record. So oh, we're sitting there for two oh, hours Brian. talking. It's like, yeah, so it's like hey, but I've got a memory like a steel trap. Yeah. So it's like, and I, and I've taken everything that I've learned from him. And it it's it's gone into everything, you know, mm -hmm. and, and and you know from how how, you know, how do you think that's helped you immensely? Like you know, how? Just my attitude, Your you know, attitude? my attitude towards the business, and mm -hmm. you know, kind of like, ah, you know, there's there's always tomorrow, okay. you know. It's like just because I didn't get this one today doesn't mean they're not going to call me tomorrow. So Brian, what do you do on a daily basis besides audition to build your voiceover business? Um, social media. Mm. I use the social media. As a matter of fact, this weekend I updated my website. Mm -hmm. I updated my IMDb page. You know, I mm -hmm. mean, um, I am on Twitter all the time. Mm -hmm. I use Instagram. I, mm -hmm. I use I use social media for humor because that's that's my thing. Is like right. I mean, I there, do you think it's important? Uh, oh, very to, much in, in building a voiceover yes, business. Yes, yes. In me? this in this in this uh, in this day and age of that kind of instant gratification, mm -hmm. online tweet. Facebook, you know, um, uh, clout, you know, Instagram, you know, any of those, you know, um, Tumblr, Flickr, you know, whatever. I mean, there's there's a Pinterest. ton of them out yeah. there. Yeah. Any app that you can jump on mm -hmm. and stuff like that. Um, you know, if you, I don't have a fan page, I still kind of keep my because I interact. I, I, it's real important to me to interact because the fans and that buzz is what's gonna you know help grow me. And sure. I and I, I reply to just about everybody. An agent, I believe it was Cynthia McLean. Yeah, she said, mm -hmm. I'm gonna look online. I'm gonna look for your presence online and do people know you? Yeah. Are people talking about you? She mm -hmm. goes, That's what's important, you know, do people know who you are? Yeah. She goes, I'm gonna look at your IMDB page. Yeah, more you know? and more. And, and it's mm -hmm. like, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You know, so it's like yeah. so you hear that kind of stuff and you're like, well this is and, and you do you you see on I mean everybody, you know, walks around like this now, mm -hmm. yeah. you know. I mean, yeah. it's you can, not a good <laughs> idea when you're crossing no, the street. No, no, no. Or when you're doing 80 miles an hour down the 405. You know, yeah. who does yeah, 80 exactly. down the 405? Yeah, yeah. Ryan. <laughs> it's at night. It's three o'clock in the morning. You know, the construction guys are dodging out of the way. Well, then you um, have your spy monkey creations. Yes, yes. Did you bring any toys? I did bring some toys. You did? I did bring some well, toys. Did. Yes, they're in. They're in my bag over Grab there. Grab them. So I'll, 
pull yeah. pull some out. Yeah. You know what? Am I am I attached? Yeah, to anything? Don't okay. worry about it. Here, I'll hold I'll hold your cable here. This is live, man. Live TV. He's yeah. leaving, Grab your leaving bag. frame. This has oh, happened. Oh yeah, leaving frame Look for a that. second. Look at that. What do we got? Uh, well, well, let's well see. before you before, before we you reveal, get into that. <laughs> just give us a little background on Spy Monkey Creations. Uh, Spy Monkey Creations is a yeah. toy company that uh, is very independent. Independent. Um, very independent. Um, it started out as uh, as uh, me and two of my buddies. Uh, it's now just me and 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 one of the other guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We started doing uh, one of our one of our favorite toy lines was He Man and the Masters of the Universe. Mm -hmm. Well, Mattel has started doing new He Man figures. You know, back in two thousand eight, they started doing these really great, super articulated mm -hmm. Masters of the Universe yeah. figures, and certain characters only came with like one little weapon back in the eighties. And what they're doing is they're kind of recreating that aesthetic. So we we're customizers, meaning that we would take existing action figures and make them better. We're like, we constantly building the $6 million man out of the stuff that we buy at Target and Toys R Us. Right. Um, you know, uh, and so we were making swords and shields and battle axes and we were casting them in resin. We'd like make silicone molds and, you know, mm -hmm. I mean, put them, pour them in, pour the resin in and, you know, and we were painting them up by hand. And in, your, in your garage. In our, yeah, yeah, garage, balconies, you know, whatever, <laughs> where, wherever, wherever, wherever we could put a pressure pot, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, mostly Jeremy, uh, my buddy Jeremy did did the lion's share of the work. You know, mm -hmm. it's like he he's really just he, just a mad scientist when it comes to that kind right. of stuff. Mm -hmm. Highly talented cat. He started just customizing stuff, and we started posting pictures of him online. And people were like, "I want one," you know. And one person turned into ten, turned into a hundred, turned into a mm -hmm. thousand. So we were like, "Let's just start making some." Yeah. So mm -hmm. we created um, what we call the Weapon Ears of Monkov. So we made these weapons. You know, and our, our company's called Spy Monkey. Well, now so we, Monk now we get to see. And yeah, you have yeah. your Giro. Did you bring the Giro? We have the Giro and Let's the Vilhain. So we the have Vilhain. The Vilhain. Yes. The Giro are the good guys, and the Vilhain are the bad guys. Yes. And that's something else. Okay. Um, I don't want to show that yet, because that'll that'll tip my hand. Oh. Um, so what, what I've got here, these are a couple of the Vilhain, actually. Um, and they're different. these are in different configurations than what we normally offer them as. These are some of the ones that I've I've bashed together, <laughs> but they're just little dudes, you know. And we use classic colors, you know. These are like classic Transformers and GI Joe yeah. type colors, yeah. and you know, everything comes oh, apart. Oh, that hurts. So it's all yeah. You I mean everything's interchangeable, <laughs> and you've wow. got, you know, this guy has these two great big fists, but you take the fist off, spin it around, a little it's face a on face. that. That oh, guy's my God. fist is a face, and then what? You can take take this take his head off. Oh, and make it his hit. And make it a blaster. On his hand. What if and people could that. do that? Wouldn't that be awesome? And you can, you know, swap it all Look around. Look at that. You know? Oh, I like that face. Look at him. Yeah, yeah. Isn't he? Isn't he? He's like friendly, demonic He's very stoic. He's, That's oh, yeah, cool. yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, That's and then awesome. we, we did, you know, I mean, we, um, this is a uh, leader of our bad guys. Of course, this is all in pieces, but this is. Oh, uh, yeah, I like him. Look this is uh, Umbrius. The, the head, anyway, is Umbrius. Yeah, it's, he's cool. We, we took a little bit of Skeletor and totally. a little bit of Megatron. You know? Got the Edward Scissorhands. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Shooting. And then his backpack is actually his backpack the reverse. Oh, it's, 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 it's a good guy's face. Yeah, yeah. That. So and wow. it can all be used as hands and weapons. And yeah, so, and it's all interchangeable. Everything yeah. breaks apart. Mm -hmm. We're doing several colorways. Uh, we actually have new stuff dropping in March. So spymonkeycreations.com. Spymonkeycreations.com. Okay. Or you can look as, look up the actual toy line on weaponearsofmonka.com. Okay. And that's, uh, you know, W E A. P O N E E R S O F M O N K A A dot com. <laughs> Clever. Clever. <laughs> wow. So fun. What insights do you have for somebody who's starting out in the business today? Voiceover business, that is. Especially maybe someone who wants to, to get in and wants to start out but hasn't started yet because it's maybe such a. There are so many resources available that weren't available to me when I was when I moved out here in 99. The, the the social media, it's so easy to get online and find any of these, you know, it's like uh, there's voiceover resource guide. You have to be really careful about who you take classes from, research everything. Uh, the Voxy ladies, you mm -hmm. know, they're, yes, they're a, a small tight-knit group, but they're all 
There are some that have had year, you know, a 20 year career that are part of that group and some that are just now starting out. Mm -hmm. There's a, a male equivalent, you know, I mean, that is just recently fired up called the Vox Stars, you oh, know, well. that, that yeah. I'm, a, I'm a, you know, I'm a, yeah. I'm, I'm a member of. Oh, good, man. And, uh, um, you know, I mean, there's some great guys in there and they're, and, and those guys are so diverse. Who are the guys on there? Do you know? With, David, I mean, Stone. I, David Stone. David Stone. David uh, Stone. You know, Mick Wingert. Um, That's right. A member. Um, uh, John Grove. That's right. Um, uh, Paul Strickwerda. There's 13, 13 or 14 mm -hmm. guys, and you know, and and most of them are East Coast. Yeah. So the funny thing is, like, I haven't met a lot of them. Right. You with know? technology, um, though, you. But can But with technology, you can, yeah, you can, you mm -hmm. can, you can stay in contact yeah. with each other. You know, there are setbacks every day, and 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 and, and sometimes it can be so overwhelming and just be and and feel like there's there's there can be times of hopelessness, mm -hmm. you know. But the thing you have to remember is. Everybody that is where they are, you know, the Rob Paulsons and Jess Harnells of the industry are there because they all did this at one point too. Mm -hmm. They started out at some point and they struggled and they they were told no. And every door that got shut, there was, you know, another one open, you know, and, and they stuck to it. Pick a number between 5 and 129. 5 and 129. 73. 73. If you could guarantee the happiness of any single person in the world because they most deserve it, who would it be? Oh gosh, my wife. Mm. Hands down. I, I, I just, she's amazing. She's my everything, everything. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I mean, uh, we've only been married for a little over three years, but uh, absolute best friend. Absolute best friend. Well, I'm going to cry now, too. For all of you that <laughs> just, can't see, Brian's eyes just Yours wide. are, too. We and all so are. That's beautiful. Just well, she beautiful, has been... Buddy. We've met your lovely wife, Amy, yeah. and you know, she, but she's been a huge part. It's like Barbara Walters. I'm crying. No. <laughs> Brian, uh, Brian. Go ahead. Go ahead. Brian. Brian. Brian, let me talk to you. No, but <laughs> she, she's played a really important role. You know, you, you told us a story where she was really, she was the champion for you. And she yeah. said, you know, you can't, you know, I love that. She was my Gandalf. Yeah. The Pu Gandalf. She pushed me, she gave me the shove out the door. Yeah. She gave me the shove out the door. You know? She was the Mama Eagle. Yeah, yeah. You and, out, and, and, you and, and tragedy, triumph, she is mm -hmm. right there. I mean, it's just, I mean, we are... We're a team, and she's, you know, and because that's the thing. It's like love does this real weird squiggly thing when you're in a relationship. You got to like the person. You got to like them so much yeah. as a person, who they are, and I, I just, I absolutely adore that woman. And I just, you know, I mean, I, I, I was literally just lost in the wilderness mm -hmm. until her and I met. And it just, and, and you, when you know when it clicks, you know. Yeah. And what was funny she asked me out. So it's like, what that was, hell? yeah, yeah. Of course, it's because I moved, I moved, I moved heavy I furniture first. <laughs> so, you know, that was the, but, but yeah, so she just, cool, man. she's an angel, absolute angel. Well, I hope 5,900 years from now, you're still saying the same thing. And he will. Every day. Yeah. And he will. Hey, Amen. Thanks for coming on VO. Yeah, Thank absolutely. You so much, Brian. Absolutely. Us. Thank you so much. We're really proud to, you know, have had you here, and uh, and uh, I know that you had to turn a few things around to to make it and make yeah. this happen. So thank you, man. I'm sure that a lot of people out there got inspired by uh, some. Well, thank of the stuff you. I that really. You said. I, I hope so. I hope so. You know, it's like it's and feel free to contact me. You know, on on social media. You know, mm -hmm. it's like I'm on Facebook. Brian loves I'm on that. Twitter. So yeah, he loves you know, that. And I'm on, and you know, I'll I'll answer. You know, if to, to the best of my ability. How can they contact you? Uh, they can either uh, they can reach me through my website, At which is uh, bsvoices.com, and the email address is on there and everything. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and then you can look me up on Facebook, Brian T. Stevenson. Uh, you can look me up on Twitter, which is also at Brian T. Stevenson. Um, it's Brian with an I, Stevenson with a V, because you know. There's that real weird yes, Y and the pH y stuff yeah. that flies in there. Stevenson. So, yeah, yeah. So. Brian Stevenson. Yes, yes, yes. So <laughs> just, you know, look look me up, okay. follow me, you know, friend me. You know, I mean, I'm... How cool is that? We're you, excited you, you, for you. can get into a business where you're just starting out and you have mm -hmm. somebody who's been in the trenches, is in the trenches, just got an agent, is plowing his... He's plugging into the system and the Planting people out the seeds, there yeah. and who's willing to say, call me up and I'll help you too. 
I'll answer your question. I'm doing it. Yeah. I'll I'll do it. I'm anything. doing it real time. That's cool. And, and that's, you are you know, the man, dude. Put it there. Thanks, man. Freaking awesome. This guy rocks. <laughs> Hi, I'm Brian T. Stevenson, and I've just been on VO Buzz Weekly with Chuck and Stacy. Chuck and Stacy are awesome, and it's a great show. If you want to be in the VO business, if you want to do animation, if you want to do commercials, you want to do promos, watch this show because you're going to learn from some of the best in the business. Well, that's all the time we have today, everybody. Brian's got to go home, melt some wax, make some new toys. Be sure and tune in next week for another awesome episode of VO Buzz Weekly. And be sure to keep up with us on Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest at VO Buzz Weekly. Take care, everybody, and just remember, you, you always have time for a little buzz. buzz.